like, I, but I'm still in love. I don't know what to do. Like, are you serious with this? This is really going. Hold on to your seats, viewers. He was with me, pleading for forgiveness, telling me to take a moment, and, and he would see it, and we were meant to be together. You said in the New York Times Magazine that you're a very forgiving person, but there's one thing I could never be a part of in that one. Well, everyone, welcome back to us, Wendy, appears to have spent two weeks in the hospital. She checked in roughly two weeks ago, and over the weekend, following a brief period of freedom, she discovered herself back inside those sterile walls. Our insider even alluded to rumors that she was fighting for her life. Can you believe that? Another source revealed that all they knew about Wendy was that she was in the hospital at the moment and not receiving rehabilitation. They even hinted that they had no idea which hospital Wendy was in, which raised some eyebrows. Wendy had lately experienced significant problems, such as being admitted to the hospital. You may remember the captivating April 6 promo. The hashtags, she's back, and Wendy has a lot to say, and she's saying it exclusively to us, were all over the Atlanta Women's Expo's Instagram account. They even dangled the juicy carrot of free tickets for her show at the Cobb Galleria Center. Our sources hinted that Wendy was going to take home a cool $25,000 for that two-day extravaganza. But then came the final blow. She was removed from the list of celebrity speakers faster than you could say gossip. It was with great consideration that we felt it was best for Wendy to join the Ultimate Women's Expo at a later date. Meanwhile, it seemed like everything was going well for Wendy. And recently we're hearing such terrible news again, suggesting that the drama surrounding Wendy isn't going to go away anytime soon. We can only hope for smoother waters ahead for Wendy while we were all abuzz about her health. Wendy's representative teamed up for an official announcement that left us all in shock. There were rumors circulating about an enigmatic apology video that was scheduled to premiere during Expo One. Sizzling Insider shed light on the doubts surrounding Wendy's capacity to take center stage. Some were pushing for her to travel to Atlanta and take the stage. Welcome back, Wendy. Greetings from my formal flat. As we speak between us, many of Wendy's recent performances have been, to put it mildly, inconsistent. In one moment, she's speaking in well-spoken sentences, and in the next, well, radio silence. Many of us have been holding our breath, anticipating the grand despite Wendy's return. The story took a turn amid reports of a hospital. Wendy's camp has categorically denied any visits to hospitals. Cincinnati released an explosive, I can vouch for the fact that Wendy is not in the hospital, despite what has been reported in New York. You can also speculate as to who may be quietly applauding from the sidelines. Kevin Hunter should now enter for the back row. Here's where it gets saucier. Wendy's bankroll has been, to put it mildly, keeping Kevin afloat. I am making payments, but hold on. This is getting oh no. Kevin wasn't only living the high life. Rather, he was occupied with utilizing Wendy's hard-earned money to indulge his side girlfriend, Sharina Hudson. Insider rumors, Jaren's studies for her massage therapy program were generously funded by Kevin who also helped her launch the Vish Jewelry and Apparel line and set her up with a kiosk in a mall in North Carolina. I learned about this from blogs and tabloids, where he shared the address of the location he'd bought with his back. But that's not all. When Sharina decided that real estate wasn't her thing, she tried her hand at selling her office at a Morristown property. Who do you think paid for that house? Kevin, of course, using Wendy's money. Then thinking that vegetarianism would be a good fit, he again raided Wendy's bank account. Sharina girl's big win, and now for the most fascinating and terrifying portion of my life. Wendy's apparent health and personal decline became public conversation around late 2017 to early 2018. 
No one could support me through that period of my life except for Wendy. Around this same time, rumors began to circulate that Kevin had bought Sharina a comfortable love nest not far from the location of his marriage ceremony to Wendy. Could this be a coincidence, or is the plot thickening? All supporters recall those inexplicable absences. Wendy, the unwavering professional who was renowned for her punctuality, began to falter in late 2018. Her appearance suggested that she was upset, and occasionally her emotions were evident. A studio source remembers hearing that she felt like she was engaged in combat offstage, with hints of Kevin's growing influence over her in both personal and professional spheres. And then there was the January 2019 show. The official story claimed Wendy, the stylish diva, had a hairline fracture, but whispers behind closed doors depicted a different image. The world witnessed Wendy strangely sporting an arm sling. How does Serena fit into all of this? It seems like the two of them had a lot to gain with Wendy's fortune and the inheritance she was going to receive, so the stakes were high. An old confidant of Wendy's claimed that she once whispered her feelings of entrapment, hinting to something far more sinister than a simple accident. Anyone following Wendy's journey is aware of her struggles with addiction. The spotlight's pressures combined with her personal turmoil led her to turn to drugs for solace. However, there is more murky information that surfaced, indicating that Serena was seen demanding a bigger cut, possibly hinting at some covered operation. She was allegedly overheard saying, I was a functioning addict. I report to work on time and all of my coworkers, including my bosses, would know. Numerous insiders and family reports have claimed that Wendy's addiction was not merely a result of personal struggles. Instead, there's a belief that it was actively manipulated by those around her, including as rumor has it Kevin and Serena, sometime now and even today. And beyond I have been living in a why you ask by keeping Wendy dependent and vulnerable, it became easier for them to exert control, not just over her personal life, but over her vast empire of former staffer on Wendy's team, even went on record anonymously, of course, claiming they once stumbled upon Sharina and Kevin deep in conversation with a suspicious individual known for peddling substances. Our first caress the puzzle pieces start to align when one considers the overarching goal making Wendy appear unstable, thereby having larger control over her assets inheritance and share in the show's profits. But instead of firing me, you say, I would grab my headphones and arrogantly walk in the studio and dare them to fire me because I was making ratings the scheme appeared to be perfect. But like all cunning schemes, it was not perfect. Oh, how the tables have turned. Turnabout's a fair game. I'm a fair game player and a straight shooter too. As the curtain momentarily descends on this drama-filled act, fans and septics alike are left wondering was it all a master plan gone awry only time and perhaps more secret slipping. Serena's lavish expenditures began to strain her relationship with Kevin, leading to their eventual separation. But as the spotlight's glare often reveals greed leaves nothing untouched, what a whirlwind this will be. Through the grapevine will tell us. Let's also see what the fans have to say. Ah, the digital age, where every whispered secret finds a booming voice, especially from fans whose passion runs deep. Let's untangle these juicy threads of fan commentary, shall we? If from the bustling world of YouTube, where every keyboard warrior finds a battleground, we I came across a snide remark from a user that said, that woman is stupid. How does she think she will get it? We knew she was a gold digger, but gosh, at least be a wise one. She didn't want to sell anything she acquired with Wendy's money, but instead wants to sue for child support after she assisted that man in dissolving his marriage. The overpowering feeling Sharon's arrogance is almost comical. Not only did she play a crucial part in a failing marriage, but now she's demanding rewards for it. 
Fans of Wendy have their thoughts to share with another user who is infatuated. This is what happened because Wendy, a very intelligent woman, let people hang themselves. She wasn't stupid at all. They are broke, but she still has her money. Victory tastes so much sweeter when karma is on your side. But amid the drama and the scandal, some people are adopting a more contemplative stance. According to this user, Wendy has been playing the role of Jess all along, letting her opponents weave their own downfalls. Karma is real. They both got what they deserve, and now they are regular citizens. Ah, the sweet taste of poetic justice. One comment struck a deeper chord with me. I listen to learn and keep this from occurring to me. Who better to narrate this saga than Wendy herself? As the saying goes, opinions are like noses. Everyone has one. In this vast digital 